Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a ripple stitch blanket. We're pretty much recovered from Hurricane Dorian. We lost two trees on our property. This is my apple tree. It was 32 years old and it's now uprooted on my front lawn. We lost two trees and our neighbors as well. And here are some other pictures just from in the neighborhood. And you can see here a house or a camp into the water and a tree with the power lines down and more power lines out of commission. Another tree resting on the power lines and what was once a building but now just debris in the water. And things could have been much worse but we're very thankful for being spared any more damage. So let's get started with the ripple stitch blanket. Start with a slip knot. Okay, I've gone ahead and I have made a chain. So now I'm going to double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. So one, two, three, four. So make one double crochet. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. make three double crochet in the next stitch. So one, two, and three. So I have one double crochet and then I skipped a stitch, four double crochet, and then three in the same stitch. And now I'm going to double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. S skip the next two stitches. Now I'm going to make a double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and again three double crochet in this stitch. So one, two, and three. And then one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And that will form your hills and your valleys. Okay, I worked all the way across the row and I've reached the end of the row and I have three stitches. So I'm going to skip the next two stitches, double crochet in the last stitch. Now this next row will be repeated throughout the pattern. So I'm going to chain two and I've already turned my work and that chain two takes the place of the first stitch. So I'm going to skip the next stitch and I'm going to work into this stitch and I'm going to only work in the back side of the stitch for the remainder of this blanket. So I'm going to double crochet in four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And that's the center stitch of the three double crochet cluster of the previous row. I'm going to make three double crochet in that one stitch. See, all in the same stitch. Now double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Skip the next two stitches. Double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then in that center stitch, three double crochet, one, two, and three. And you'll continue that across the row, making four double crochet, skip two, 
four double crochet, three double crochet in the center stitch of that three double crochet cluster. And you'll work all the way across the row. And when you get to the end, you'll have made your three double crochets, double crochet in four, and then skip the next stitch and double crochet in the last stitch. And so you'll just continue to work the same stitch over and over until your project is as long as you would like it to be. And I work four rows of one color, two rows of white, and then four rows of another color, two of white, four, two, four, two. And that's how you can crochet a ripple stitch blanket. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.